All right, guys, welcome back to Davis Drives. We're over here in the warehouse. It's a little bit dirty. It's one of the sections we have not had time to really get proper and uh, prep like we want. But with day-to-day -day business, especially with our tow trucks that are a huge part of our business and our industry, um, this, biz this section of the building is the busiest that we have. So in the background, you'll see, and we've talked about this before, all of our equipment that we carry in the ditch gear and several other lines of snatch straps, uh, recovery chains, your safety vest, and we include this with all our vehicles. So a lot of people say, oh, whoop de doo you know, no big deal, everything comes with something. But even on our used trucks, we take out the used equipment, which we've got a whole section full of old straps that are tattered, old chains that are rusty, and we put new gear in there. We want customers to be safe. And a lot of the stuff on these shelves is safety items too. The safety vest, safety glasses, the heavy no snag gloves, things such as that. So I'm pulling this cart over here, and AJ's usually the one doing this. He pretty much uh, lays out all the equipment, but this is kind of what we would call our Mac Daddy package. Um, it's got a recovery strap with clevises, safety triangles, a couple of our Yeti cups, a USB cable. Somebody on one of our posts said, oh, whoop de doo you put a USB cable. Well, if you're here from California and you don't have a USB cable and you're going home with a phone or whatever you have and can't charge it, yeah, that's pretty handy. So that little $15 thing might not mean much to you today, but it will. Also, rechargeable flashlight, which hooks to that cable, skates, no snag gloves, wheel lift straps, chains, um, your safety vest, a uh, snatch block, safety flare, safety glasses, a bridle system. Uh, the new trucks a lot of times will come with a third vehicle light or second vehicle light that is uh, USB. We also have them with cables. And then we have a tire choker uh, strap kit and uh, a couple other just safety items, you know. So um, sometimes we've got a first aid kit. We're out of those right now. Some things it might seem simple, but if you look in the background, that's $300,000 worth of equipment sitting on those shelves. So it adds up very fast. And when we are equipping our trucks, uh, we want customers to get what they want. So one new thing we're getting ready to do, which will be innovative as far as I know, is all of our shelves will span the whole building and they'll all have a USB uh, scan code. Um, so when a customer comes in, he might not use chains. He might only want straps. Maybe it's the operator, not the owner, and he's got a special thing he wants. We typically give about $2,000 to $2,500 worth of gear. Again, it adds up fast if you do the math. Um, so we're gonna have it basically like you're shopping. You'll be able to come in with a scanner, scan what you want. If you want four vests instead of two, if you want four sets of straps instead of two, or you want extra chains, you'll be able to scan right through it and we'll load your truck. And again, AJ handles most of it. He's really good about equipping customers, but uh, you know there is obviously some means to the madness we have to deal with cost-wise. Um, but we've got it, it's all here. We're updating it every day, um, we're ordering at least once a week and we order, it's basically like a box truck load that comes in and they have to organize it. We even got the dollies, we got the trash can mounts, the in the ditch box tops, um, actual boxes, you name it, we've got it here on the shelves. So uh, we want our customers to leave proper, we want them to leave safe. We do the best we can with their trucks to make sure they're serviced and inspected and ready to go. And lo and behold, if they have to tow something on the way home, You'll be able to tow. Like I said, a lot of customers go back to California, Oregon, Washington, clear across the country. And when they go that far, you know, who knows what will happen along the way. If they got to tow a car, pick up a load, do something to make some gas money, you can literally tow as soon as you pull out of our parking lot. You'll have some things that some customers want that we get asked for all the time. Endless loops. We didn't even know what an endless loop was five years ago. Now we keep endless loops in stock. Some people still, what's an endless loop? They don't know. Uh, it's a nice choker design strap that they use for recovering off the side of the road. Uh, pretty handy. And that's, uh, that's something that we have also. So again, items in stock. When the truck backs in, customer's ready to go. Rain, sleet, snow, or shine. We're going to load them up and uh, give them all the stuff. Um, I just heard our robot over there fire up, so I guess he's uh, making his way around. If you haven't seen that yet, uh, it's pretty, well, there it is, coming around the corner. But uh, pretty interesting item. We're using it to move between our different warehouses, but it's a recovery item that's super, super handy. So uh, it's gonna make its way across the shop here all on its own. Look, Mom, no hands. It literally does all the work on its own. 
This thing is amazing for parking garages and also for vehicles now that are electric where they're all-wheel drive. When the batteries die, you're stuck. There's nothing you can do. This will recover the vehicle. It'll move the vehicle out of a tight spot and it will load it right on your tow truck. You can drive the whole apparatus right on your tow truck. And that's not a light car, 70s model Camaro compared to a uh, car of today, which is gonna be half its weight, but carries that with no problem. Load it right on your rollback, strap it down, get to the dealership where you're going, unload it, put it right on their rack to be worked on, uh, whatever. And as you can see, like I said, it's hands-free, all computerized, all, well, there you go. It'll unload the car right off. And it's all done by a remote control, so pretty cool rig. It's also on tracks, so the good news is if you're in an off-kilter situation, uh, a muddy backyard, and you got to go recover a vehicle that you can't get your tow truck to, this thing will slip right through the gate, go load it up, haul it, put it right back away um, very efficiently. So uh, E-Track is the brand. We're going to try to be a dealer for them directly. They are very expensive. They do come from another country. Uh, we're already in the works on that, but it's not something that happens overnight. But very happy to have this. It also has a winch system on it. Um, and little simple Briggs & Stratton electric engine. Uh, Gas-powered engine, not electric. They are working on an electric model of this, uh, which we'll know some more about soon. But uh, there it is. We've been using it back and forth between our shops. So we appreciate you guys checking in today, keeping an update on the shop. Again, this area is uh, the one few areas that have not been done yet, but we'll get you a view in the back shop. That's completely done. The walls are painted. You got the new tow truck stored in there. The front section's done, and showroom number three is well on its way to getting done. Thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned. Please click and subscribe. We have a lot of you call in to say you love our tow truck content. We're going to bring you some more safety videos. We've got one of our local towers we're getting ready to do a big episode with, and he's just come back from some training. So the biggest thing we can't ever reinforce enough is do your towing safely, be careful out there, watch out for others, and please, everybody that's out there on the road, watch out for the tow truck guys. I mean, they're putting their life on the line, being on the side of the road, being in bad weather. Please look out for those guys and pay attention when you're out there driving. Um, very important, and uh, it's easy to get hurt in that industry. So we want to keep our guys safe. They can keep coming back. We can keep supporting them. So thanks again. Click subscribe, Davis Drives at Davis Auto Sales, Richmond, Virginia. All right, guys, so I forgot in the last video, but a uh, little plug, Davis Auto Sales, gear. We do have cups, different styles, all on the website. And also some of our hoodies, T-shirts, and other things. Uh, we did go interactive on the website. That stuff is for sale. You can click and buy it. Uh, PayPal is the easiest way to do it. We'll ship it right to you. We do have a decent amount. I would give you a shirt off my back, but this is the only one we have in gray that fits me, so I have to keep this one. My guys thought that was funny. And if you hear a little extra heavy breathing in any of these videos, while they were doing the live earlier, um, they were having trouble breathing because they had to walk a long ways over here. So we had to get them a gym membership, unfortunately. Uh, which brings me to one other thing for all the guys that are referring to uh, Truck Norris because of our Slurpee video, that would be me. Uh, yes, I do go to some karate classes because one of my good friends owns a karate studio. And then I guess the uh, cool kick I did for our Slurpee video, just put it over the top. So I'll take that nickname, Truck Norris. Maybe we'll do some shirts. Maybe it'll be the new superhero, I don't know. But Truck Norris right here in the background, uh, AJ, Christian, think they're funny but uh they can't even keep their breath quiet on good thing y'all can't smell their breath but you can at least hear their breath so davis auto sales signing off davis drives richmond virginia thanks for watching if you need any gear there it is we got it for sale i feel like we need a kick or something at the end i can't <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> So they wanted a karate kick, and I will do that on one of the next episodes, but right now, between CrossFit and karate, uh, my legs are sore. It's not happening. Thank you guys, but I still was not out of breath. 
like these half my age guys were. <laughs> Glad that thing fired up and decided to play with itself. Uh, so there it is. Yeah, I said play with itself. Yes, I did. Uh, on camera, but it's different. 